In this video, I hope, I hope to show you Emmelunga above decks. So, starting at the bar, we have a, a 70 meter chain um, with a 24 kilogram bugle anchor, and that's the main anchor. <coughs> it did self docking due to a twist in the chain um, and it is easy to launch. It is pulled in by a thousand watt winch which is controllable by those foot pedals and also by a remote device from the cockpit if necessary. There are two other anchors, a Bruce anchor in the anchor locker up front and a CQR down below. So the rig is a cutter rig. The Genoa is 135 Genoa and the staysail is subtended from the upper shrouds, which I'll show you there. That is a very useful, strong sail. They're both heavy-duty sails in high winds above sort of force eight Beaufort. You'll see the spinnaker boom attached to the mast, which is really used to pole out the Genoa more than the Genico, which is housed in an anchor locker and comes out of that hatch cover. <coughs> Not in anchor locker, a sail locker. So the deck itself is a, it's a sandwich structure with ingrain balsa between the two layers of fiberglass, giving it very good insulating properties. And it uh, extends right through the, uh, through the whole deck. The, um, the, the, sa the main sail is uh, brand new and it's a fully battened sail with all the reefing lines coming back into the cockpit as you can see on the deck there running back into the cockpit and I'll show you that from the other side just now. The, um, there are seven Anderson winches, they're all Anderson double action winches, all very reliable, good quality um, devices. There's a 2.5 meter rubber duck on the deck here under a cover, strapped down. When it's inflated it can also fit here on the deck and it lies over a boarding ladder. Uh, coming back a bit further now, uh, past, so what you'll see here is a, a bimini which covers most of the cockpit, uh, the whole cockpit, and a dodger, which is up at the moment. The, this is the cockpit, you can see it's, it's teak decked throughout, and we have these comfortable mattresses that have made such a difference to making this cockpit a comfortable place, both to sleep and to live in. It's a nice deep cockpit and so it gives you a lot of protection in rough weather. It's a very dry part of the boat. There are washboards that can increase the, uh, <clears throat> the depth of the cockpit if necessary. We've only had to use that once but we've never been swamped. Um, there's a Whitlock steering column with a control lever for the uh, for the uh, power, and the instruments are all Raymarine uh, Ray instruments. We turfed out the cheaper version of uh, something else to start with. This is a very deep anchor locker here. Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's very deep. Underneath the benches are lockers. This is a very deep one underneath the control there, that's where the engine is turned on and the oil gauge, temperature gauge, etc. battery monitor behind there visible from the wheel. Um, and inside that deep um, lazarette on the port side is a lot of gear plus a steering, a self-steering wind vane called a Neptune. Uh, designed by a South African engineer who now works in Portsmouth. 
Um, this is the back hatch and or the back companion way. The um, main sheet comes down here behind the cock behind the cockpit and the topping lift is also you can see there on a two to one purchase is also adjustable in the cockpit. The um, because we are busy sailing and going in and out of harbours we have all our fenders on the back here lying on the back but but we often keep them in that big lazarette I just showed you. This is a life raft, an eight-man life raft, which can also fit in the lazarette on the sugar scoop. We have a radar arch with two solar panels on top and a separate pole is an Airx wind generator giving us <coughs> good independence um, from shore power. The outboard engine is 2.5 horsepower, four-stroke Yamaha. Uh, this is the sugar scoop on the back. That is the, the lid of a locker for a nine kilogram gas bottle. There's a similar one on the other side, underneath this big fender and underneath that basket full of rope and chain for anchoring to the shore. That is the boarding ladder making it easy in and out of the water and this stainless steel structure supports the wind steering, this, the Neptune wind vane. This is the backstay and on the backstay is it's a 10 millimeter backstay. We have an isolator top and bottom of the stay making the backstay an aerial for the SSB radio. Okay. Coming back down again to the cockpit. What else is there to show you? We have um, a side cover up for sunshine, but it's on the wrong side at the moment. These just zip on to the bimini. Um, the reefing lines come into the cockpit as well and used on this winch and that's the jam cleats um, and then there's a radar a radar scanner here um, I think that's gives you an idea of what the deck looks like just have a last look around and I think I gave you a video of what's inside the boat so I'll stop this one.